like to introduce you to the Rico RF4000. Today we're going to be printing on a district shirt. It's going to be 100% cotton. What makes this unit unique compared to other units is that it has an onboard enhancer. So the enhancer applies first into our garment and then the ink. Enhancer is sort of like pre-treatment. Another neat feature about our machine is that our enhancer is digital. It's only going to apply the enhancer wherever it's going to lay ink down. Another neat feature of our machine here is that we have a cleaner reservoir. So this cleaner right here sprays on the maintenance station, keeping that wiper and the gaskets nice and clean, also preventing a lot of ink buildup on the, on the maintenance station. All right, everybody, before we actually start printing on 100% cotton, we want to make sure and then we steam press our garments. That's going to remove any wrinkles you might have. It's also going to lay down the fibers. Now, if your material is a little bit more fibrous, I'm going to add a little bit more water than on a regular garment. A couple of sprays of water. We're going to get a parchment paper. We're going to place it on top. And we're going to steam press this. Our temperature is going to be 280 degrees for 30 seconds. Alright, now that our garment is pressed and all the fibers are down, we're going to carefully bring our garment over to our unit. Okay, to place our garment on the unit, we're going to go ahead and drape it like so. We're going to make sure we align the collar of our garment to our center point of our platen. Also on the back, we're going to attach our hoop. This also has a center cutout or a little hole here where you can stretch your collar and make sure it's centered. Okay, we're going to tuck the rest of it in and we're going to do our height adjustment. Now this adjustment is done so that we hit the optimal printing distance between the garment and the print head. Okay, now that our garment is inside the machine, we're gonna get a file here ready. We're gonna go ahead and size it. Now that it's been sized and all the settings have been applied to it, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over to our print queue. First, it's gonna rip to save all our settings, and then it's gonna go to the print queue. Once it goes to the print queue, it's gonna send it over to the printer. Now, there's three ways of connecting our printer to our software. One's a direct connection, which is PC to printer. You can do a network connection, which is connecting the printer to a network and then running your laptop or desktop of a Wi-Fi. Our next method would be to send file over to a USB storage device and taking that storage device over to the printer. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my unit so you guys can see it printing. Now if you guys are doing super much graphics, I do recommend running with the cover open. If you need to do this, you can contact us here at Rico and we can send you some jigs to bypass that lid so you can run with the unit open. I'm gonna go ahead and press print. And if you look towards the back of our machine, we'll see our enhancer carriage applying the enhancer on our garments.
hoop is done, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hoop. And we're gonna carefully bring this over to our heat press. Now we're gonna go ahead and hover dry for 30 seconds. And you wanna hover dry so that way in case you are wanting a bit more ink than usual. When you do your final pressing, you don't press that ink and smear into each other. And it also keeps the colors a little more vibrant this way. Okay, so that's my 30 seconds. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press it for the full duration, which is gonna be two minutes at 200 two minutes at 280 degrees now this uh, temperature will be the same for cotton as it is polyester uh, the only reason you will change this to a lower temperature which will be 270 is if you are using a really thin polyester then you can go ahead and drop down temperature in a little bit all right now you can go ahead and move our parchment paper a good indication that your paper and your graphic is nice and cured is if you pull the paper back and it comes out easily. If you guys pull the paper back and it feels like it's sticking too much, then you might have a little bit more dry time and that might be because you have a little bit more ink than usual. So the paper should peel up nice and easily. That's how you know you have proper cured with the ink. And here we go guys. Ready to wear.